Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Jen, and this is Claire, our trusty assistant, and we're with Rock Your Hobby. We're here at the 2010 NAM convention. NAM stands for North American Music Merchants. It's one of the largest music trade shows in the world. It's not open to the public, it's trade only. So we are your all access pass to what goes on inside. We're headed on in with Claire to go get the scoop on what's the latest and the greatest in the music industry. We're going to talk with some of today's hottest stars. We're going to get the reaction on their favorite things from the past year and what keeps them going and pushes them to get better and better. Come on inside, let's go. What, what are you up to today? Walking around, checking out all the good gear. All this good gear, what's your favorite gear? Uh, the gear I have on. I love your gear that you have on. <laughs> you gonna be signing anything today? or? I've signed thousands of things today, taken thousands of photos. It's my job, that's what I'm here for. We love that. Now, when you're not just rocking out, what are you doing in your spare time? I'm not allowed to talk about that. Bashing the drums and, and rocking out, what do you do on the side? Do you have any hobbies, favorite pastimes? Um, I drive from my house in Malibu down here to lovely Anaheim in Orange County and hang out with nice people like you. We saw you a couple of years ago. What have you been up to? Oh, so much stuff. I've been doing uh, some uh, uh, dem demos for Sony for their uh, Vegas software in Acid. And we're showing how to create stereoscopic promotional music videos in Vegas. I'm having a good time. I'm working on my second record. I'm writing and writing over the last few months. I think it should be a pretty quick turnaround. Um, I'm working with a producer named Neil Avron that I really love and we've done a couple songs together in the past and it's uh, it was a quick turnaround. Yeah, it just went, it went fast, so. We've got the Alnico 2 Pro Slash. Its namesake is the most popular guitar player of all time, the consummate guitar hero, Slash. And he's been a Seymour Duncan user for many years. Uh, unbeknownst to most people, pretty much all of his recording was done on one guitar. Uh, all the Guns N' Roses stuff, Velvet Revolver. When he plays live, though, he uses any of his dozens of Les Paul guitars, which also have our Alnico 2 Pro humbuckers in them. But what we've done is we've created a pickup that lets his live guitars or any Les Paul or similar guitar sound like the very specific guitar that he used to make all those wonderful recordings. And if you want to sound like Slash, at least the way he did on all those great songs, you need this pickup. Bootsy Collins, what are you doing here at NAMM this year? Well, uh, actually, we're at the Warwick booth right now, and um, we're... Um uh, showing my two bases that Warwick is putting out. You've been really busy, but I will, you know, just to get a little bit of balance in your life, what are you doing besides this music? I mean, just to achieve a little bit of balance. Me? Uh, I'm a big sports guy, so, you know, I, I play softball and I'm pretty serious about it. So a couple of years ago I broke my leg. I was wandering around the NAMM show in crutches, but now my leg is fine and all is well. When you're not in the studio or on the road with these guys, what else do you like to do? You have a passion or a hobby that you do? Um, I actually stay at home and uh, screw around in my home studio. I mean, uh, you know, we, we're, we're so overstimulated on the road that as soon as we get off the road, I don't have much desire to go out to nightclubs or to interact with uh, a bunch of people. I kind of stay home and think about think about business and what can I do to uh, be creative. Right, we're here at the Monster Cable booth with the head monster, Noel Lee. And Noel, you just got back from CES, what, a week ago? And now you're here at the NAMM show? Yeah, well, you know, this is my favorite show. CES is business. This is fun. Okay, there, so you're rocking here. I noticed, look at this. The flames on the wheels. You know how to rock your Segway, huh? Yes, that makes it go faster. It makes it go faster? Yeah. It looks like you're speeding when you're just standing still. So what are you unveiling this year? What's new? Well, you know, at CES, you know, we did a whole headphone thing, and we brought that whole headphone 
to. This uh, is Lady Gaga or Dr. Dre with well, the beats or yeah, the heartbeat. Well, that's for the consumer products stuff, you know. So that's really great. But for the um, NAMM show and for AES that we did for the pros, it's about Turbine Pro and the new uh, beat spin, you know, for DJs. So for professional sound. And this, uh, you know, people are so excited about this. They put them on. And, you know, engineers, recording uh, producers, musicians, you know, they should be mixing with them. They should do stage stuff with them. It's absolutely the world's finest in-ear headphone. So what are you doing these days? You've got tours, well, studio, to okay, yeah. five seconds. What are you uh, up to? Five seconds, uh, okay. Well, uh, most immediately, we just, Souls of We just got back from a tour in Japan. Uh, this being January of 2010. Um, uh, Souls of We is gearing up to do another record as well. We we'll start recording in March, or February, I'm sorry, and then go out on tour here in the States in March. Lynch Mob is gonna be touring starting in uh, April uh, with uh, Michael Schenker and Ingve, I believe. And we're gonna continue touring through the year until fall. And then Souls Wii is going back to Japan, and then Lynch Mob is going to Europe. What are you guys doing here today? Just checking out some new gear, seeing what's coming out this year. We all love the different gear, different music, so, you know. What's your favorites? Uh, Minaret guitars, definitely. They're the best. Love Minerick Normandy and Jennings is coming out with some really cool stuff now. Reissues of old 60s and 70s boxes that everyone loves. So that's a good plug for them. What about you? Uh, Pearl's got a great booth this year, like they always do. So now you guys playing anywhere in town tonight? What are you guys doing? What's your band doing? Uh, right now we're going into the studio in February to record some new stuff. But until then, uh, just practicing and writing more stuff. So we're here at the 2010 NAMM show at the Dean Guitar Booth with Uli John Roth. And he's unveiling the new Sky Guitar, correct? So can you tell us a little bit about Sky Guitar? Well, um, I designed the guitar back in the early 80s um, for a number of reasons. You know, uh, I, I ran out of frets on the Strat, literally, and I wanted to play a little higher than that. So I had a guitar builder who said, look, I can build you anything. You know, so that got me thinking. So. I thought, what would be the ultimate guitar for me, you know, and um, so I came up with the Sky Guitar. Elliot, the owner of Dean, is a good friend of mine, and he convinced me that it's time to do, you know, what a man should do. You there know, you go. So go with we're Dean. Actually, yeah, we're actually putting it on the market. The great thing is, I knew that with him, he would give me the guitar that I wanted. So you guys are playing at Taylor yeah, uh, later? Taylor, Taylor, Three o'clock, yeah. so we're going to catch you there and cover you there. Yeah, that's going to be fun. We're all doing an acoustic thing and a Night Ranger acoustic. It's going to be a great night. Great day. <laughs> great day. I think so you can do all the tapping on an acoustic <laughs> guitar, no yeah, problem. Be, oh, well, yeah. And then you're going to be riding the bass. Yeah, and... yeah, you got it. It's okay. going to be fun. Awesome. We actually have a new rock record coming out in a couple of months that we're working on. And we've got three touring entities. We've got Nelson the Rock Band. We've got the Ricky Nelson Remembered Tour. It's the 25th anniversary of our dad's passing. So we're doing a tribute to him uh, with that. And we've got another band, Scrap Metal, which is absolutely awesome. It's all the lead singers of the biggest 80s hair bands in one band. Yeah, so check them out. When you're not on the road, mm -hmm. you like racing cars? You... I, I'm, a, I'm big into motorsports. If I wasn't doing music, it'd have something to do with automobiles. I like anything with an engine on it. Could okay. we get in the, in the passenger side of your car in one of these Abs episodes? As long as you don't get motion sick, that's fine. I don't want to clean up that mess, but yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely, get in the car with him. You're going to have to bring some extra pants. It's Uncle here. Ted and his little puppy dog, Fetch Fido. What are you doing today at this NAMM show? I'm doing anything I want to do. I'm doing everything I want to do. I'm living the dream. I just got out of my tree stand and my duck blind where I have real dogs. And uh, no offense there, puppy. She's a bird chaser. I know, a little garlic and butter, she'd be fine. But I have a new uh, album of all love songs. It's called Trample the Weak, Hurdle the Dead. And uh, Flavor of the month. It's just <laughs> pure love songs, baby. Trample the Weak, Hurdle the Dead. Uh, we're playing those songs next week in, in uh, Nevada and in California. And then I have another couple months of deer hunting to do. I, I have a lot of charities where I take the wounded heroes of the military hunting and fishing. And I have a bunch of, you know, legless Marines and uh, armless soldiers that love the outdoors. We have Freedom's Angels that you can get at tednugent.com. We try to bring some quality life to those who have sacrificed so much 
so absolutely we can, so we can have this freedom you know and then uh, I go on the road I go and fix Europeans in June and then uh, I got a crowbar of truth I'm gonna make them ride <laughs> This is uh, the Gene Simmons Act Space. It's being put out by court. I'm here to promote it. I play it live on stage. Quality instrument, I'm very proud of it. First we're starting off with the Gene Simmons Axe. Love it. Then we'll be moving on to the Gene Simmons Punisher Bass, both, both of which are designed on the trademarks too. And you can get yours by going to any retail shop. That means, in real English, what that means is music store. Anywhere that sells guitars. KISS has about 3,000 different licenses, everything from KISS condoms to KISS caskets. We'll get you coming and we'll get you going. We've come to the end of the 2010 NAMM show. It's been quite a show. The excitement, the buzz. We've had a blast. We're happy that you were able to join us. The after parties were incredible. Thank you, Seymour Duncan and Dean Guitars. We did have a great time. And Claire here, I think she was the biggest showstopper of them all. Until next year, keep rocking.